Today we're talking about Scarlet and Violet's new set, Paldean Fates, and why I'm not going to invest in it. Welcome to the channel, I'm Fatapak Magic, and today we are opening Paldean Fates, this ETB, and I did purchase this from Sakura's Card Shop, so definitely uh, check them out. Uh, pretty much all my purchases come from there. Uh, I will go over why I'm not purchasing it. So I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. I'm not trying to tell you what you should buy, what you shouldn't buy, right? That's totally up to you. That's your own hard earned money. So I purchased these from Sakura's card shop. Uh, check the link down below in the description and to get your Japanese, your Korean, English Pokemon. There's also One Piece and various other products as well. So let's dive deep into it and talk about why I personally am not purchasing or investing in Paldean Fates. Let's go. So let's start ripping into this as I explain why I'm not going to be investing in Palde Paldean Fates. So let's go with the first ETB here. As I get this ready, I'm sure you've already seen all this. So I may not go through full unboxing uh, comes with your your booklet with all the cards and of course you have your packs there should be nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you have your sleeves your card your code card you have your promo card which is really awesome this mimikyu it's uh they did a really great job on that you have your energy cards um, you have your dividers, which is pretty cool. It's pretty neat. I think they did a really great job. It looks actually looks like a deck of cards. Then you have your dice counter. Yeah, that's it. All right. So let's first of all, let's talk about the set alone. The set alone has 240 cards, which I guess is pretty normal. No, that is not normal. It's a lot, actually. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that why, why am I not, um, you know, going to be purchasing a lot of the products, uh, because there's over, there's, I believe 130 shiny Pokemon, which is a lot. Uh, if you calculate and think about pull rates and whatnot, and trying to get all the shiny Pokemon, I mean, that's going to be, you're going, you're going to go through a lot of, uh, packs, right? So ripping through that, it, is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, it just got released um uh, last week so uh, it's it's been it's been almost a week right so as new sets come out yes right now some of the cards are expensive but if you wait a few months what i plan to do is to purchase the the cards that uh, i want to purchase or try to complete the set now of course there's always a fun factor where i do want to rip some packs right i do want to enjoy the set and have some fun with it um, there's also, you know, other things you want to chase. Uh, there's the, uh, shiny Pokemon EX. Uh, if you open shiny treasures, then you kind of understand, uh, what they are. Um, there's also, uh, some of the trainers and some of the gold cards. Uh, I know there's some SIRs that, uh, people want to pull like the, uh, Mew. There's also the Charizard and Gardevoir. So for me, trying to chase after those cards just doesn't make sense to me because going through 130 shiny pokemon if i were to let's say purchase a thousand packs i'm gonna have some doubles yeah maybe i could trade it or sell it if i really wanted to but really it just makes more sense to just buy the singles and it would just be more cost effective to me so i'm not trying to say hey you know don't purchase any here we go we got a mime jr awesome i'm not saying that you shouldn't or should uh i'm just saying for me uh, it, it just makes sense to just purchase the singles the ones i don't have so you know i didn't really purchase that much uh, maybe i will in the future who knows you know maybe you know maybe if you're a seal collector maybe it's a little bit different uh, which I could totally understand, but for me, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to, you know, purchase the the singles, and I know that in a few months from now, uh, the price is going to go down. So, 
for now, I'm just enjoying the the packs and just ripping it open. Uh, I did one video and I did okay. I think I got the uh, the Clive with, with the chibi Pokemons and the trainers. Uh, that was pretty cool. So I did enjoy that. Uh, but other than that, oh, we've got a Palmy. Awesome. Other than that, yeah. It's just, uh, there's just so many sets coming out with Temple, uh, Temporal Forces. Uh, you know, that's going to be coming out in March. And it just, you know, if you want to be financially responsible, you know, uh, it, it's probably just the best way to go these days. I mean, um, I think from a collector's point of view, the prices are getting cheaper. You know, it's, it's not when it was back 2021, 2022 days where, you know, the, the demand was so high and the supply was low and you were just paying uh, an exorbitant amount of money just to try to get uh, a booster box or buying packs or whatever it may be because there were just so many people just uh, waiting in line or just buying out the entire store or whatever it may be. And it was really hard for just collectors to try to uh, get hands on Pokemon. So now that, you know, the, the demand is a little bit lower and the supply, it's it's generally accessible now. Uh, it's just gr a great time for collectors. And I think it's really amazing. So uh, at least for me. So I'm not saying, you know, don't listen to me. I'm just, you know, who, who am I, right? But uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. And I think it's just, just you know, um, I, 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 you know, in the early days, yeah, it was to the point where I was going really crazy. Ooh, look at this card. I'm like, ugh. Just an energy card, though, but still. Um, yeah, I was just, uh, going a little bit crazy, and, uh, you know, it's, I think it was just the FOMO. Uh, oh, look at this. Okay. It's Bathra EX. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's just my thought. I don't know what y'all think, um, but... There is, my focus is starting to change. I am going to be live streaming February 10th. Uh, I will be talking or opening uh, Chinese Pokemon. So my focus is starting to go over to Chinese Pokemon. Um, definitely check that out in my live stream. It does start at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 11, 12, 1, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern. And I will go over why I'm going to be opening uh, or collecting Chinese Pokemon, and uh, where my folk, why my focus is going over there, and I'll be highlighting some stores that uh, I purchased uh, Chinese Pokemon from, and uh, yeah, so that'll be really exciting, and I'll be doing some giveaways there too. So uh, definitely check that out. All right, and last nine packs, and this is kind of what I'm talking about too, right? Like I'm not getting the hits. It wasn't like it used to be. Like, Obsidian Flame really, you know, to me, or even Paldea Evolved, uh, we were really spoiled. We were just getting a lot of hits, like, every single pack, and that was really cool. But I feel like Paldea and Fates, it's just not not the same. You know, it's not, uh, you don't get that, ooh, you know, I got I got this and I got that. It's, it's um, I don't know. That's just me. I mean, let me know how you really feel. If you've opened some Shining uh, Paldean Fates, uh, let me know what your experience is like. You know, I've seen some people hit some really, really uh, uh, great cards. <clears throat> I think somebody like pulled like two Charizards and a uh, um, Mew and two ETBs or something like that. It was something crazy like that. So uh, with my luck, probably not so much, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we've got here. Varun, Charmander, the Dene, Nimona, Atticus, Mousehold, ooh, Iono. So there's, there's going to be a lot of Ionos. Probably in students, Fido. Oh, and Clive. Okay, all right. I actually um, have the other card with the Chibi. So that's pretty cool. Look at that hair. All right, look at this hair. Oh my goodness. On his birthday, I would get him a comb or something like that. I don't know. Kind of out there. Maybe he needs a haircut. Who knows? All right. Let's see here. Ugh. 
what am I doing? I don't know. It's kind of slippery. Okay, Gengar. Oh, that's really interesting though. We have Gengar with our temporal forces, which is gonna be pretty cool. There's an EX, so it's kind of about it's kind of like an about time. The last Gengar we uh we got was a trainer gallery i think something like that he's been in sets right um like a rare card or anything but not 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 like a special card so uh it's kind of nice to see gengar getting uh getting some love there right into the set so uh gengar is a pretty popular pokemon so i know my kids loved uh i mean they still love gengar so uh, they'll be pretty excited and i'm pretty sure they'll jump on the gengar wagon again and uh start asking for gengar so what is a dad to do okay here we go can we get a hit in this oh we got we're getting some babies which is kind of nice so uh, is that too in professor's research okay awesome baby shinies everybody loving those baby shinies you know these the chibi art is definitely uh something people are drawn to so I'm, I'm i mean i do like cuteness cuteness is it's not a bad thing right so um you don't have really have to look at the value you could just appreciate the, the artwork so that's pretty cool okay here we go not to and hey paldean student all right that's uh first time i pulled that i've opened some uh shiny treasures and I've, I've never pulled that so that's pretty cool that is very neat. Okay. Here we go. Can we get... We have the last two packs. Can we get a banger? I don't know, but... I'm doubting it. Just because I pulled these, right? So... I think this is the end of this box. Oh, and we got another Palmy. My goodness. We're doubling up on the Palmy. All right. Maybe that's why that person doubled up on the Mew and the um, Charizard, you know? So that's pretty cool. All right. You know what's funny is um, I did a, a, a video the other day and, you know, I promised, oh yeah, you know, I'll open it uh, with uh, my kids, but never did. Here I am doing another video by myself and they're not even in it. So maybe they'll have a better luck than me. Okay. All right. So that's my um, my my spiel on why I'm not in going to invest in, uh, or if you want to call it investing, it's this is not financial advice, obviously, but I'm not going to go so crazy on buying so many Paldean Fates products. I'm just going to open some, have fun with it, and then if I want to, you know, chase after certain cards, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase it because just the amount of money you spend on products you know you're not going to be guaranteed to pull those obviously you know pulling those cards is a great feeling and everything but if you really do want those cards it's best to just purchase the singles at least that's what i'm gonna do i'm not saying to do that obviously i'm not a financial advisor or anything like that uh but uh for me that's where just where i'm headed and uh yeah so anyways uh, like and subscribe uh, if you love this kind of content again I'm gonna be talking about Chinese Pokemon the future of that where I think my personal opinion where I think it's headed and how interesting it's going to get this year and then kind of a couple of years uh, moving forward so I'll see y'all later and have a great one peace